Hi, this is Sharina with Sharina Shack Scraps. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, I am here to show you my vintage camera collection. Both of these patterns are available for purchase on my website at sharinashack.com. This is this one here is the vintage camera, and this one is the same pattern that I showed last month, which would be February. Uh, the exploding box, and I'll show you to show that to you. Uh, really quick here. The first, the exploding box I showed last month was a uh, mailbox. Uh, this is the exact same pattern and the pattern has the instructions to make the exploding mailbox as well as this vintage camera. It has the alterations for both. But uh, let me kind of show you how this works. Hopefully I've got it in camera enough. When you pull the lid, the box pops open. And of course, there's the four pieces. Let me move the camera down. For this, as well as, there's the lid. And in the middle here, I have, in this, this is a little different. This is kind of a, what do they call it? A film, not film, slides. There we go, slides. So these go in, you can put little photos on these, but they slide in and out as if they were slides. And that's what's in the center box of this one, and that's a little different. Uh, also, in here, the first, let's see if I can get this a little bit closer here. They're all four sides are the same, so I'm just going to show you the one side. But here, I've used the Tim Holtz uh, film strip, and here is the ticket pocket. And if you saw my other video, you'll kind of get the idea. This is a front pocket here. And then I've used, again, the film strip to make the tag here. And I leave these blank because I know I'm going to cover them with pictures and it's not going to do me any good to, to stamp them. Um, and then of course there's this side pocket. And I don't have a tag in here but there's the big pocket that goes there in the top. And all four sides are exactly the same. So I just wanted to show you that because it's the exact same pattern but the cool things you can do with the exact same pattern. Let me set this all aside. And get on to this is a vintage camera. Now, with this vintage camera, I had to fix my tripod again here. With this vintage camera, this is um, in the style of the large format camera. Uh, right here, this front plate piece here is called the front lens board. And in the bellows part is where all of your... Uh, zoom equipment would be and then of course in the back part here is where the the images are captured and so back here is where the in, the mini album is stored but the pattern shows you how to make the billows and here I have used a specialty paper from my local craft store that looks kind of like leather I don't know the company um, but I do know it, it it just looks like leather it's pretty cool and I think they had some other colors, but I really like the look of the black. And then most of the metal embellishments on this are Tim Holtz. Here I've got his flower. And these flowers up here are his border grunge flowers. Um, here on the side I have his gears, which I have made so they're movable. And some of these little uh, saying tags. I think what else? Oh, and on this side there is a handle that I have made. Okay. And then of course the back, I wanted it to look as if they were straps but not be actual straps because I don't want to deal with them. So I have done the hairband tie with some buttons that I have had in my stash for eons of time, who knows. And of course in the back is where our images are captured and thus that is where our mini album is stored as well. And here I've got the Tim Holtz plate. This charm here is actually a Seven Gypsies charm. And then of course the Tim Holtz film strip and some more pieces too. The Tim Holtz flowers. The paper line that I used for the mini album and the embellishments however is the Bow Bunny Mama Rozzy line, which I absolutely loved. And this album is going to uh, show my, my journey of photography. Recently I have been taking a photography course and I'm almost finished. And um, I wanted to show 
the journey that I have had in my photography course, which I have absolutely loved. So the Mama Rosy paper line was perfect for me. I also used, I used the 6x6 six six stack, and then I used two or three pieces of the 12x12, 12 12, and then the noteworthy um, packet. And all of these flip pages are part of the noteworthy packet. They're just the random things. Now, going along with the theme of uh, camera, I have, well, the flip page, and then this page here, this might be hard to do holding, is like a film strip pullout. And I know there are die cuts out here that can cut these out, film strip, I just don't happen to have one. And then, of course, it slides into this pocket, and every page has this idea on it. See, here's another one, same idea. You can cover it with papers or pictures or how, whatever you want and it flips out to reveal space for more photos on this side and I have these in different colors some of them are craft some are you know dark uh, black but this is supposed to symbolize a Polaroid where you've got your blank space here and your picture here then you can add things but obviously mine I've made it into a pocket and this flips up and the pattern shows you how and to do all this and the dimensions, this one I have not glued down yet, just it's a tag. Sorry, a tag. Here's another one of the flip pages um, that holds. But you kind of get this idea. And the pattern shows you how to do all these things. There's another one. Um, you kind of get a generic page size but you can obviously change this flip page to whatever size works best for you that's it it has a tie closure I don't know if I can do this in camera and you can tie it in a bow so that's what it looks like and then of course it fits nicely into the back of our camera and then we use the hairbands to use the buttons to put it up. I hope that you like this video. Again, you can purchase the pattern to make this on my website at sharinashack.com. This is the vintage camera pattern under the mini albums tab. And Check out my blog, sharinashackscraps.blogspot.com to see what I'm doing and any other YouTube videos or classes that I'm teaching. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.